Well, we have yet another athlete who has died suddenly, this time coming out of Australia. We're going to get into all the details about what happened here to Simon Dunn in just a second. First, guys, if you could, if YT lets you, try and hit the like button for me. Very important. Also, please share the video. Help us get around those algorithms. Hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. Well, according to police in New South Wales, Australia, this was on Saturday, January 21st, around 10 a.m., they had received a call from somebody who stated that they had found an unresponsive man um, at home uh, in their house. Uh, upon arrival, police arrived to find the body of Simon Dunn, 35 years old, uh, an athlete, an Olympic athlete, uh, bobsledding and rugby, two sports that he was very active in. Uh, early indications right now, according to police, upon finding done, was that there was no suspicious activity thought to be done here. So they're ruling that out. They have not yet released an official cause of death. But taking a look at trends and how many times we've seen this happen now throughout the course of the last year, young athletes, dropping dead out of nowhere you have to ask the question was the pinchy involved now i'm not saying that it is because i can never you know and i never will come out here and say 100 percent if i think that's it because it could be i mean it could be anything but it does really look like it when you take a look at all of the other cases out there very similar to what has now happened here with dunn now as i mentioned he was very active in both rugby and also bobsledding in fact he was the first openly gay man to be part of the Australian bobsledding team. Not only that, but he was involved with many other um, local uh, charities. He did a lot of volunteering in his community. He was advocating uh, for the rights of those in the rainbow community. Many people saying that this was probably something that would be his legacy even more than what he did uh, in sports for either rugby or in bobsledding. So, um, you know, as a, uh, as a born again Christian, that's not something that, you know, I am, you know, down with, of course, I believe what the Bible says on that topic. Nevertheless, this is still very sad news. And, you know, make sure to keep Simon's entire family in your prayers, that God would be with them, that God would give them peace because, you know, it's horrible. To lose someone the way that so many others have had in this exact case here and you know a lot of people were lied to you know they were told certain things that you know guaranteed that if they do it they'll be kept safe and all of that so again you know just saying it's uh it's very possible that maybe something like that had indeed happened here it all remains to be seen i'll let you guys be the judge of that for yourself uh, and i'll go ahead and include more information on this for you guys down here in the description. You can also read the statement from Ruby Rose Management. Uh, they are the group that oversaw things with Dunn, his agents. Uh, you can check out their statement and also many other tributes that have been coming in for Dunn as well. What I wanna do right now though is I wanna end this video on hope. And you know, this is something I do on all my videos. It's part of my ministry outreach. I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines that are going on around the world and keep you guys up to speed on everything that's taking place because we are living in the last days and Jesus Christ is coming back soon. And so if you're someone that's watching this video right now and you know you have not yet received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, well, I would like to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. In fact, this is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps that you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do, this is right off the top, you want to acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world as he died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. And repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then just jump back into your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles and habits, patterns, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again. A 
child of God, you will have eternal life. And trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I will have more on this down below, as I mentioned. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget, the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. You go to patreon.com slash conservative troop. You can sign up for five bucks a month, or you can click the super thanks down below. Uh, attach a donation to that along with your message um, and pop that down below uh, in the comment section. Prayers once again going out to the entire family of Simon Dunn. That God will be with you all and bring you peace and comfort at this time. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.